Hello students, I welcome you all with a very big heart. In this video lesson, we are going to see question answers of the chapter Nutrition in Plants. The first question is what is nutrition? We can have answer like this. Nutrition is the process of taking up food and its utilization by the body for growth and development. Next question is what are the different types of nutrition in plants? We can have answer like this. Plants show two modes of nutrition, autotropic nutrition and heterotropic nutrition. Next question, what is saprophytic nutrition? Mode of nutrition in which organisms obtain nutrition from dead and decaying plant and animal matter is called saprophytic nutrition. Next question is list the different types of heterotropic nutrition. We can have answer like this. The different types of heterotropic nutrition in plants are parasitic, insectivorous, saprophytic and symbiotic. Next question is, is oxygen a requirement or a product of photosynthesis? Explain. We can write. Plants do not require oxygen to carry out photosynthesis. Rather, oxygen is released as a byproduct of photosynthesis. So, it is not a requirement but a product of photosynthesis. Next question Which is the main product of photosynthesis? The main product of photosynthesis is glucose how can plants absorb carbon dioxide from the air we can have answer like this the carbon dioxide gas present in the atmosphere enters the leaves through small openings called stomata which are present on the surface of the leaves the stomatal pores are enclosed by guard cells. Next question is give a brief description of the process of synthesis of food in green plants. Answer is green plants synthesize food by the process called as photosynthesis. During this process water is absorbed by the roots of the plants from the soil and it is transported to the leaves through stem. Carbon dioxide is taken up by the leaves from air through stomata and in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll, glucose is produced which is then converted into starch and gets stored in the leaves. Oxygen and water are also produced in this process. Next question, distinguish between a parasite and an insectivore, give suitable examples. A plant which derives its nutritional requirements from the body of another living plant is called a parasitic plant. Cascata, daughter, mistletoe are some examples of parasitic plant. The green plant which obtains its nourishment partly from swell and atmosphere and partly from small insects is called an insectivorous plant. Peter plant, bladderwort, Venus flytrap are some examples of insectivorous plants. What are the essential conditions for photosynthesis? First, chlorophyll. These are green pigments 
found in the chloroplasts which are special structures present in the plant cells second is carbon dioxide land plants obtain carbon dioxide from the atmosphere which enters the leaves through stomata present on the surface of the leaves third is water plants absorb water for photosynthesis from the soil through their roots sunlight plants receive sunlight from solar radiation during daytime next question explain symbiotic nutrition with the help of an example children in symbiotic nutrition organisms develop mutual relationship with other organisms to obtain nutrients for example in lichen an alga which is an autotroph lives in association with a fungus that is a saprotroph the alga makes food and is consumed by the fungus the fungus in turn gives water and minerals to the alga and helps for its survival next question how can nutrients of the soil be replenished nutrients of the soil can be replenished manually by adding fertilizers and manures into the soil it can be done naturally by growing leguminous crops the rhizobium bacteria living in the root nodules of these crops convert atmospheric nitrogen into the soluble form which can be absorbed by the plants next question is how can you show the presence of starch in the leaves explain with the help of a diagram we can have answer like this we can perform following activity to show the presence of starch in the leaves step 1 take a green leaf and boil it in water in the beaker to soften it step 2 take the softened leaf in a test tube and pour some alcohol in it step 3 now put the test tube in the beaker containing water and let it heat on the flame for 2 to 3 minutes boiling in alcohol removes the chlorophyll from the leaf step 4 now take out the leaf from the test tube carefully and wash it with water step 5 using a dropper put a few drops of iodine solution on the leaf the leaf will turn blue black showing presence of starch next question chlorophyll and carbon dioxide are necessary conditions for plants to photosynthesize how can you prove this explain it with the help of example with the help of a diagram chlorophyll is necessary let's see step 1 take a variegated croton leaf which contains green colored patches step 2 boil it in alcohol in water bath to dissolve out green pigments and decolorize the leaf step 3 remove the leaf from boiling alcohol and dip it in hot water step 4 spread the decolorized leaf flat on a white tile and drop iodine solution on it the parts containing green patches will turn blue black but the non green parts will stain brown or yellow with iodine showing that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis next experiment is related to show carbon dioxide is necessary step 1 take a potted plant with long leaves and place it in the dark for 2 to 3 days to make it starch free 
step 2 choose a leaf from this plant and insert half of it in a bottle containing potassium hydroxide through a split cork step 3 potassium hydroxide absorbs carbon dioxide hence the portion of the leaf in the bottle will not get carbon dioxide the portion of the leaf outside the bottle will get carbon dioxide step 4 cork the bottle and place it in sunlight for few hours step 5 test the leaf for starch the part of the leaf which is inside the jar will not turn blue black after adding iodine whereas the other half will turn blue black after adding iodine solution which shows carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis so that's all for today's video lesson thank you so much See you in the next video. Goodbye.